Hello everybody, today I played a mobile game in virtual reality. Uh, but unfortunately for me, uh, I played one hour and I like it. Uh, that I checked the game and I realized that, well, not many people are actually playing it. I checked out Steam charts and it's like four players pick in the last 30 days. Uh, and the developer released this game, it calls Warriors of Titus, uh, on March 30, uh, 30 uh, 2018. Uh, but uh, only um, uh, last month uh, the developer decided to release it as a free-to-play uh, game but the free-to-play and the paid version exist side by side so there are some things that you add like more euros and stuff that you get in a paid version but you can still play with the free-to-play version if you like and this is a nice move because more people can try it and without players mobile games are basically dead you need players in order to uh, the, for the game to succeed. So I think it's a good move, but let's see how much players can actually uh, be motivated to join this game now that it's free to play. Now, I'm not saying this is a great game in general because there's still many things to be need to be improved uh, in this game, but it's definitely going in the right direction. As you can see, it's very cluttered and the tutorial, lots of text everywhere. Um, this is just a, an AI match where the, uh, kind of a tutorial so uh, of course i'm expecting to see things that explain things but um it's too cluttery and the learning curve and the menus are just terrible and the learning curve because of this is higher and i can understand why some people might drop it although if you have a bit of patience and you're willing to spend like 20 minutes 30 minutes to kind of play the tutorial uh you're gonna find this game to be really fun so you can see the gameplay this is the free to play version of the game i'm playing this on my oculus quest 2 using the oculus link cable the link cable uh as you can see there are different buffs uh you can uh, achieve you can level up your character you have your abilities which you can use your two weapons which you can actually um shoot with and there's a uh, on the right weapon you can actually choose either from a floating menu or if you activate it using the gun you can activate different skills and of course these skills have cooldown like a standard mobile game now again, this plays like a standard MOBA game uh, in many ways. You have areas where you can actually farm for different things, like a jungle, kind of. <laughs> uh, you have lanes. Uh, and you also have those stationary weapons, which you need to destroy, towers. Uh, the weapons, by the way, are really fun. Uh, the one that I played uh, it was really nice. Uh, different options, for example, like throwing like a fist. Uh, forward uh, that pushes enemy deal damage. There's one that deals AOE damage like rockets from the sky, um, and this one is just uh, my uh, secondary weapon, which can actually shoot um, kind of a bombs in an arc. Uh, really cool. And I have different abilities like uh, increasing the damage for my secondary weapon. Uh, I can also again do the. Uh, Missile barrage, uh, which is the one on the left side. You're gonna see it soon. It's just gonna, it's super OP in my opinion, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm just enjoying myself there. Um, and yeah, yeah, this is the one you can see it here. I'm just activating it, and soon in a few seconds after activation, this is the circle where the bomb's gonna hit and just gonna land on the enemies. Uh, and I tried several times, by the way. Uh, it just works beautifully. I don't know why it wasn't activated here. I don't know. Maybe I did it wrong. Uh, soon you're going to see it again. Uh, so, yeah. Lots of things happening on the screen, as you can see. Maybe too much. Again, the clutter is just... Uh, again, you won't see the text. Uh, this type of text when you play a regular game. It's tutorial. But still, it feels like too much clutter. Now, in terms of map design, not bad, not bad. And uh, again, I play versus AI, and it took me, I don't know, like 25 minutes to complete it. Uh, but I think if you play like uh, versus other players, well, I need to try. I haven't played with other players. Uh, something we're gonna do today if I find ones, because based on Steam charts, not many online players playing this game. Hopefully now, there'll be more. Uh, but um, hopefully, it feels nice. It feels nice uh, moving through the different. Uh, no progressing until you reach to the end you need to eliminate this kind of big structure um, uh, again the gunplay itself it was super fun the abilities and the gunplay was super fun you can see the barrage dealing lots of damage the explosion animations are nice uh, it's really nice to see those cute characters bots actually moving with you in virtual reality 
you know, this is something why I really like Paragon back then because they feel more close to the action. Uh, that's why I like the it was a third person, by the way. Um, now uh, it's actually being revived as predecessor, uh, and that happened after Epic Games actually killed Paragon in favor of Fortnite. But uh, uh, I'm always searching for something again that brings me close to the action. This is why I actually love playing uh, MOBA games in virtual reality. I, I wanted to play MOBA games in virtual reality basically because this is my first one. It actually felt so good. But the thing is that there are so many things that need to be improved here. Also the developer will put effort to kind of uh, uh, make it better. But in terms of gameplay, it just felt great. And this is the most important thing. If you nail the gameplay correctly uh, and some of the mechanics right, the other things can be improved, but this one as a base, as a core mobile game in VR is just excellent. This is one tower, we are shooting the tower here. As you can see, you can see the damage, has explosions and then explodes and <laughs> big explosion. It's really fun, really fun. It's just saying all these explosions happening on the screen. And just I want to play versus other players, that would be amazing. But even versus AI, I really enjoyed it. Here you can see something I can shoot uh, and get extra secondary ammo. These are some of the uh, abilities. There's a kind of a big you robot there, you can see there. You they need to be destroyed. Triple kill. And it was destroyed. Got a triple kill because I used the missile barrage. It's <laughs> just crazily powerful. I uh, also died, by the way, uh, several times, and when you die, you can actually uh, you see the uh, kind of a top-down view of the battlefield, which is really cool, with animations where the everything is, kind of nice, and then go back to the game, spawn back. Now on the map, you can find different locations that can uh, buff your uh, soldiers or give you buffs. Uh, it's kind of a quick, instead of spending a lot of time, you know, uh, jungling, because it's in VR. Um, uh, yeah, sorry, there was a message on the phone. Uh, yeah, here you can, I need to eliminate drones, uh, as you can see here, to collect bonuses, but they actually killed me. <laughs> uh, so probably need to go with somebody else or be higher level to eliminate them. And once I did this, you can see this, this is a top-down view of the battlefield. Pretty cool. Again, this is very, lots of clutter here, but overall, the presentation was nice and, uh, I really enjoy seeing this, but again, too much clutter. So then I'm just going back, and you can see the enemy just drop from the top, and then I'm going back, continue. You can see their health, their attack power, 20. Here they are different uh, settings, by the way. Here I decided to just change to so the rotation would be smooth. Uh, I did it for only the eventually only for the right hand because this is the one that I'm used for rotating and uh, yeah as you can see now it's smooth and I can position myself well so it turned out nicely so it's nice having lots of options where you can customize the game to your liking especially in VR games so everything comfortable especially the movement it's very important so lots of customization options again you only see it if you go to the menu and decide to do it now as we move forward, we're getting closer to the base uh, of the enemy. Again, the visuals, I just wish it was simpler and look uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, more different, simpler. I mean, either I, I enjoy getting, you know, with something that looks very realistic and impressive, like the maps on, uh, for example, uh, yeah on Paragon, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for a second I think, uh, or just go with something, uh, again, you can make a, a game that looks uh, less realistic, but you need to design well to look good, minutes. and I also like the cartoony visual, but this is just a personal preference, here you can see the big structure there, uh, is actually the one that we need to destroy, it's kind of look like a, a scene from Star Wars, right, imagine kind of a Star Wars style MOBA, that would be dope, I'm telling you, a Star Wars style MOBA, with, I mean, with uh, really the, the different type of uh, vehicles from Star Wars and classes and characters you can choose. Oh my god, this would be crazy. But you know, it, I just feel kind of vibes uh, of Star Wars when I played. As you can see, there's some shielded um, structures we need to destroy. 
And this is, by the way, the bot that spawned uh, when I entered this circular thing is on the ground. So activated it. So now it helps us attack these structures. Which is nice. Maybe there are other options, but again, this is my first game. So that's why I discovered. Some nice effects there when you hit the shield. Pretty cool. Kind of a... Bounce. Rearm. From a Star Wars movie. Look at the explosion, really nice explosions in the air. Yeah, so I continued this until we destroyed the structure and it was, yeah, it was fun and satisfying. So again, I told you, I enjoyed the gameplay, but this needs so much work and need more players based on my, what I checked. Uh, but this is the one that I'm definitely going to dive in every day, hopefully to find more players. And this is why I'm making this video because I want more players to check it out. If you love mobile games and you love uh, virtual reality, uh, you need to give this one a try. It's really fun, uh, fun game. I hope the developer will get more crowd. So, uh, you know, it will encourage developer to make even more updates and more players will enjoy this game. I definitely enjoy it. So this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Consider leaving a like and subscribe to my channel. And I see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. Cheers. Bye bye. Enemy tower has been destroyed. Bounce. Rearm. Healer returning to base. I'm down. Gotcha.